Hello. For once, Subnautica loaded in uh, with no problems. How nice. Let's go ahead and load up the game. How is everybody doing today? It is a... What is today? It is a glorious Monday. Feels like a Monday. Man. I have been, like... I've just been sick for, like, a whole week. And today I'm, like, finally off of the... Off of the day quill. And, uh... I think I said last time I streamed yesterday, was it yesterday? That I was like 90% there. Now I'm like 95. I'm still not 100%. I'm still, you can still hear it a little bit. A little bit of that nasally, a little bit of that congestion. So, eh, I don't know. I'm just eager to play games. So, we're gonna find this iceberg lady. Or else. Love is just like the coronavirus. It may seem like it's ending, but it's not. <laughs> Good. Also, hello, Teddy Bear. How are you doing? Welcome in. We're getting there with COVID, at least. <laughs> Good. How about you? I'm doing all right. Finally kicking this cold. Yeah, I was just saying the other day that, like... Everybody um, switching to not wearing masks where I am is, like, really unnerving. Like, I'm vaccinated, and I'm sure that they are, too. Like, I don't have any distrust there, but it just makes me feel uneasy to see a bunch of people without masks on. I don't know. I've gotten, like, so conditioned to expect it over the last, like, year and a half. It's weird. You don't trust anything? I mean... That can be the safe approach. That has its drawbacks, too. But I, I definitely see what you mean. Like, I definitely... When I say I trust that they're vaccinated, like, my assumption is that they're vaccinated, is what I should say. Um, but uh, I don't know for a fact if they are or are not. Oh, that's right. I remember where we left off. So, we are trying to get up to these icebergs. And we were having a rough time with it. I think we're in the wrong area, though. So I'm actually... We're low on the power, and I didn't bring a backup, I don't think. I guess I'll double check. Let's double check before I go all the way back. Storage is empty. Alright. So yeah, let's go back. I wish this thing had a bit more... Light. <laughs> Sun, please. Have you played this game before, Teddy? I will say, this game is absolutely lovely. I don't think I ever get tired of looking at the landscapes. Alright. We'll drop this here. We're gonna take the sea trunk back. I want to be able to, to make distance a little easier. Let me in. Let me in! Let me in! Okay. I guess I should eat some food while I'm here. Drink all this reclaimed water. There's only one left. Yep, yeah, we'll plant it. Perfect. Okay. Going back. Maybe this stream is when we'll revamp our whole house.
There's also a, like a tiny possibility that I'll just finish the game this stream. We'll see. I doubt it, but it's possible. So. Out. And we're jumping back into the prawn suit so it'll charge while we're gone. Because we're planning ahead. All right. Up. So sweet. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, we have to go east, but let's double check. Kilometer east of your position. So that was a kilometer east of... Oh, look at that. I planned ahead. Yeah. I'm pleased with myself. Finally, I learned my lesson and started using beacons. And then I forgot that I started using beacons. I still don't think that this is the exact area that we're supposed to get to. I think we have to go past it. I think that we got tripped up by this, uh, by these first icebergs. Hey, friend. Hey, Dave. Welcome in. How are you? But yeah, I thought about it, and this game does not rely on weird physics to, like, climb stuff. So, I think that there, um, that I, ugh, I think that I shouldn't need to have the prawn suit. Oh, you came out of nowhere, huh? Uh, I shouldn't need the prawn suit to get up on the icebergs. Wait, Dave, you're done with school! Wait, you're done with school! Yay! You must be so psyched. Possibly drunk. All your work's been handed in. That's what you love to hear it. You love to hear it. Oh, congratulations, man. That's awesome. Ha! Ah, he just, he wanted to give you a hug. Even the fish is here for you. Are we going to get a celebration stream soon? Wait, oh my god, my ship is at 40% health? Hold up. Thank you, fishman. <laughs> Man, I, I just- I remember when I graduated, I was just so fucking psyched. Like, I was just so glad to be done. I had really bad senioritis, like, it was, uh, it was really bad. So when it fin- when the day finally came, it was like a huge sigh of relief. Well? You're so happy to be out of university, not gonna lie. I actually um, make money off your work now and not just doing it for grades. See, that is that is exactly, this looks like where we're supposed to be. This looks like the correct iceberg. Um, that was what was happening to me because when I was in school, I was selling art part-time on the side. Um, and I was I was doing okay. I wasn't like, I was like working part-time and making the amount that someone would make part-time at a minimum wage job, right? And so it was, it wasn't like great, but I saw it with huge potential, right? Because I was fresh out of school and, or, you know, coming up at the end of school. Um, so I felt like any time that I spent doing school projects was a waste of time when I could have been doing something that was making me money. Um, which isn't, like, hugely healthy. It's not a great outlook to have for school, something that you're paying a lot of money to go to. 
This is neat. This is cool. You're in a similar place now with video editing? Gotcha. Yeah, it's it's a rough spot when you feel like you're not gaining anything, you know, from those classes and your the stuff that you're doing in your own time seems more worth it. It makes it really grueling at the end there. I don't know if I'm going the right way, but I am freezing to death. Very, very quickly. Oh, shit. Oh, I've already been up here anyways. It doesn't matter. Fuck! Ah! Jump! We did it. We prevented hypothermia. Ah. I don't think I saw it. I wonder if it's just because it's snowing. I bet it's because it's snowing and hailing that we're losing our temperature much faster. So I guess it's not this one. Because it didn't look like we could scan that thing, right? Where'd my ship go? Um... But how's it going? I mean, I've been okay. I've been sick for the last week. But otherwise, um, otherwise I'm doing okay. Hanging in there, you know? I'm glad that it's summer. I got my AC installed. That's, that's a big help. Oh my god. I was like, the other day it was like 90 degrees. And I was dying a little bit. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it. Um... Let's try going even further. Let's try this one. Oh, I see it. I see the greenhouse. Hell yeah. So close. You wish you had an AC. I just have like a window one. Um, I can't believe I didn't see this before. All right. Ugh. Sorry, ship. I beached it. It'll be fine. I don't know what those two... I don't remember. How warm is it where you are, Dave? I think I remember this question coming up in, an, in like, Allie's chat the other day or something. And it's like close to how it is here, if if I'm remembering correctly. Run, run, run. There it is! Oh, we're gonna get to talk to the lady. Is there anything over there, I wonder? We'll go back at some point. Let me in! satellite hasn't passed by in a while. I guess that was your doing. Sam's not the only one in the family who knows, knew, what to do with vague directions and old wire. She was an original, that sister of yours. First time I met her, I was sure she was Altera through and through. Not a crease in her uniform. Sending those damn bird bots to spy everywhere. Then, she surprised me. Maybe a little too much. Meaning? If you really want to know, there's a PDA on the bench that can point you in the right direction. <laughs> I want Need one of these. Else? Don't bother me. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. You know, least I can do to repay you for getting those spine pests off my back. Oh, I love it. What a cool greenhouse. Uh, 55 degrees Fahrenheit? Not Celsius, Fahrenheit? Because that's kind of chilly, isn't it? Huh. 
that's too hot for us. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No shade, no shade. Plant shelf. See, I need more of these in my house. It's funny, I can deal with the, uh... Marble melon. Oh, that's so exciting. It's chill, no pun intended. It's a good thing garlic's not here. Alright, Marge, old girl. We hate this greenhouse. So here are some pointers to remember so we never have to do the worst parts again. Too bad you can't fight malnutrition by hunting it down and killing it. So, first thing, insulation. First few nights the soil was rock solid. Ended up having to insulate the damn place with dehydrated kelp. Adding a thermal mass helped too. Heat from barrels of water. Probably should have just eaten the damned kelp. But, nope, my body was craving a salad. Wish I was just made of exosuit. Next, grow lights were a must have. Gotta admit, I felt pretty proud of my first full crop of lettuce. Fed half of it to Preston. That snow stalker will eat practically anything. Always spits half of it out, though. Another thing we have in common. The slobbery green mess makes good compost. I want to be your friend. Wait, does this mean we can- oh, Hey, Ellie! Could you see that? She, like, tapped my, sh my arm. Come here. Don't come up. Nope. She says nope. I actually have to blow my nose. I will... One moment. I won't make you watch. Oh no, Dave! Uh, hold on. Yeah. Giving everybody some points. I, um, I didn't realize that you could add points to everybody once you implement them, so then not everybody starts with, like, zero. <laughs> it never happened. It never happened. Um... Ellie was trying to come up, and then she, like, changed her mind, so I don't know, whatever. I've already synthesized an antidote and stashed it in a cave. I can go grab it and- That's your plan? You don't think it'll work? <laughs> you're thinking too small. Like, maybe if you're polite enough about destroying the bacteria, Altera will come around and see it your way. But do you believe in yourself or not? I think so. You think so? Come on! You can look all you want. Oh. There's more to Marguerite than any damn fangled gadget can see. <laughs> I didn't realize I could just scan her. <laughs> and then it interrupted, uh, the log. Shit. Which log was it? It wasn't this one. Uh, fuck. Which log was it? I'd rather be hunting? No. This one. I've already synthesized an yeah. and stashed it in a cave. Figured it out. I can go grab it and that's your plan. You don't think it'll work? <sighs> you're thinking too small. Like maybe if you're polite enough about destroying the bacteria, Altera will come around and see it your way. But do you believe in yourself or not? I think so. You think so? Come on. Is a bacteria a threat? Or isn't it? It is. Does it need to be dealt with or not? It does. So who's right on this? I am. Say it like you mean it. I am. I said like you mean it, not like you're testifying before a rigged transgov court. I am. Right. Then what you gotta do is seal off the whole cave. I've got just the stuff. Made it for fishing, but it blew the whole ice shelf halfway to deep space. Vaporized all the fish. Okay. And you gotta hit the lab too, or there's just no point. Actually, you know what? Let me take care of that one. It'll be fun. I wonder where that cave is. I bet she told me. I bet the lady told me. Hello, Mr. Penguin! 
Dave, should we steal one of the babies? It gives you the option to. You can pick them up and then you get attacked. I did it accidentally once. Unlike, unlike the last- yeah, I'm gonna do it at some point. And we'll see how long they stay aggroed for. We'll just kidnap their children. Okay, it doesn't want me up here. It doesn't load in snow when I go to that other, uh, iceberg, but it does on all the other ones. Hey, orc! Thanks for the lurk! <laughs> Ray the goat! I like this meme. This is my favorite of the memes so far, in case you were wondering. Okay. So... I'm just wondering if there's a cave that we were supposed to actually go to. Alright, let's go back to the base. I want to plant my marble melons because I want to have all of the, um, all the food. I like to have all the food. then I want to go back to the lady's base. I don't remember if this was actually the entrance to her base. I think it is. I think there's like a path that I divert from um, to get to it. Uh, and then if I don't have luck finding that last ingredient that we need, I might just look it up. I don't know. Oh wow, now we know where the, uh, where the baby wheels come from. We know how they're born. Look at my, it's a baby whale. <laughs> what, what is that thing? It's like a tuna or something! Dave, I hope you've seen that um, cultural staple of Boston. Yes, you have. Good. I'm glad that- I'm glad we've gone international. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure why I'm going back to uh, plant the marble melon because we have so much more food than we need. I don't know. We're almost there anyways. Is there anything else that we had to like drop off? Oh yeah, there's these. Those are cool. Hey, thank you so much for that follow, Carlos. Ugh. <clears throat> Oh, I can't wait for this cold to be fully kicked. We're getting there. It's weird being sick during, like, COVID times and have it not be COVID. It just feels kind of, like, weird. I don't know. Uh, I guess I need a new planter, huh? Let's go grab the thingy-ma-bobber, wherever it is. 
here's the real question is where the hell did I put it? Because I keep things very organized. There it is. Exactly where it's supposed to be with the random miscellaneous stuff. Alright. So that and then I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be a bunch of titanium that we need. Not that much. Not that much. I wish I had a little more titanium, but should be fine. I forgot that my AC was running, and I was like, I wonder what that noise is to my right, or my left, whatever. Hey, I have enough. How nice. That looks even, I guess. Oh, nope. It's not. It won't do. It won't do. All right. Small and decomposing thing. Plant base. Cool. Works for me. If I could change one thing about this game, it would be the noise that she makes when she drinks water. Or eats food. It's just... I just find it odd. <laughs> Let's go swap out the batteries, and then we'll go on a new adventure. Okay. Uh, where are my batteries? There they are. Sweet. And then I've got three things of food. That's plenty. And I have an extra power cell in the sea truck. I was gonna say it's interesting. It's just it's just the like mmm. I'm I'm like, do we have to? <laughs> Alright, we're going to the lady entrance. Man, you can, like, you can tell which one of these I named when I was, like, really feeling sick on Saturday. Because I just was just like, lady entrance, let's go. <laughs> but you know what? That's fine. I'm into it. I'm here for it. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it seems good. <laughs> huh. I also, I hope that this is the right place. Because I kind of just was like, I think this is it. And just went with it. But it could be like... This? Is that... Okay, I've taken that before. You know what? I do remember this. This isn't actually a cave entrance. This is a lie. Ah. I feel so bad when I smash the ship into stuff. Scondor. Crystal area. Here we go. We'll try exploring around here and see if we can find that lady's other house.
Because I'm pretty sure it's in this taverny area. But I also remember getting a little lost in here. Yeah, this is the... Um... The fossil, so I think it's up here. Because I remember swimming down to get to there before I had the sea truck. Try going this way. It's weird how, like, all this stuff is connected, and yet it's very challenging to navigate. Oh, here we go. Got some lights. Ugh. Oh god. Smack it into everything. Hey! We found it! Close enough. Alright. Oh, what? No, shit, it's still here. He was blocking the entrance before. Let's... Hopefully he's not now. Because I want to get into that other room. I guess this lady just has, like, multiple... Ice monsters? Hello, I'm back. Oh! You again. Hmm. How did you get here so fast? Oh, he's chewing on something. Favorite thing in the game is this guy. Absolutely favorite thing. Also, hell yeah, it let me in this room. This lady's got to do her dishes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stack of dishes. Stack of dishes. On the other chair. What is this, a dorm? Small stove. Look, we got lasagna. We got beans. We got spaghetti. A fridge. You're a student and you're not even that bad. Oh man, I, I always cooked a lot. Well, I cook a lot more now than I did in college, but when I was in college, oh hey, it's these things. Remember these from the first game? Toilet! <laughs> we haven't seen one of those in any of the game. Any of the games. They're, this, they're like, this is the game where you can build your shit. You can like build your whole base Build your bathroom out. Ugh. Coffee. I was hoping there would be something, like, a little more substantial in here, but that's fine. I haven't gone in this room yet. Um. Here we go. Got some PDAs. Let's see if there's anything else to scan first. But yeah, so, in terms of college cooking, let me tell you. I'm gonna blow my nose again, and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna tell you. Uh, I 
I have blown my nose like 50 million times in the last week. It is excessive. But anyways, when I was in college, I had a roommate and um, they uh, frequently made very college-like meals. Uh, by that, I mean they would take a packet of ramen, they'd throw the noodles in, in, um, in a pot and boil them, and then drain the water, and then put the noodles onto bread, and then sprinkle the flavor packet on top, and, like, fold it up and eat it as a sandwich. <laughs> and that was just insane to me. Absolutely nuts. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a fortnight into our voyage, I was more or less living inside the creature's ribcage. It meant shelter, and it meant food. The flesh was starting to rot. The stench was unlike anything I'd ever smelled. As we floated, the temperature dropped, and the rotten meat began to stiffen and freeze. Slowly, almost imperceptibly, the Reaper began to lose buoyancy. We sank a little each day. My sanctuary was becoming my tomb. I was at the mercy of the current and the winds. Until one day, I saw a smattering of penguins in the distance. Swimming birds usually mean solid land of some kind. I was lucky. The winds followed their path. Hours later, I saw a blessed sight. An unmoving cloud sitting upon the water. Land. It renewed my spirit as I watched the land get closer and closer. The Reaper slowly sank, but I was no longer worried. When the Reaper finally sank below the water, I was close enough to lazily swim my way to shore. I made a note to come back for the Reaper's skull. I didn't ride the beast for three weeks to have no proof. Land never felt so good. Even in this... Arctic hell. He's pushing off my headphones. Ellie. Alright, it's cat time. Hold up. You have my attention. Hello. Oh, oh, you're just gonna snuggle in? Alright. There we go. There we go. I just shifted you a little bit. Don't freak out. There we go. Me. Yeah, she got jealous. Oh, you gonna do it? Almost. She's like kind of kicking her foot. Come on. No, it's too much. It's too much. Yeah. Ah, cat time. I like, I can't say no to cat time because this happens so infrequently. This is like, this is like once a week for me. All right, Ellie. Will you chill? There we go. I want you to be in the camera, but... Yeah, okay. Don't freak out. I'm just putting on my headphones. Don't freak out. Ugh. Okay, all right. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. She's gonna stay like this for, like, two minutes. Maybe less. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I stopped petting you. All right. <laughs> uh, 
Ellie, you're so sweet. Oh. Earlier today, I was petting her, and um, I brushed her a lot yesterday. Just, like, brushed another cat off of this cat. And uh, I guess, like, her back was a little bit sensitive when I was petting her, and so she'd, like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. She um, went to, like, bite my arm, but just to, like, put her teeth on. And so I just, like, stopped petting her. I just, like, pulled my hand back a little bit, and she just really, really slowly released her grip until like her teeth were just barely touching me at all it was very cute i was just glad that she didn't bite me because she's like bitten me a couple times like with a good chunk who are you you are you're never this nice <laughs> oh but nearly out yeah pretty much okay Ellie, I want to play the game. Being very sweet, though. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> she is- she is never this snuggly. This is crazy to me. Okay. So... Um, I actually want to look up this, uh, this thing that we need here, this root pustule, because I haven't seen that at all at any point in the game, and I also haven't heard it referenced at all, so I'm going to look it up really fast on my phone. Because I thought about it the other day. I was, like, avoiding looking stuff up because I feel like that's frowned upon in, like, streamer culture. I don't know. And then I realized I don't give a shit. So, um, <laughs> I'm looking it up. I'm gonna play games the way that I want to play them. <laughs> Good on you. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, I want to be one of those people who, like, figures it out all on my own, but occasionally, like, if it's just gonna be frustrating, like, it's my game and I'll play it how I want to. This cat, she's, like, grabbing onto my arm with her claws and just, like, pulling on my arm. Oh my god. You're the sweetest cat ever. You must be hungry or something. <laughs> Once she gets up, I'm gonna have a quick BRB to check her food. Ellie, Ellie, or um, Allie. Ellie is being crazy cute right now. She won't stop. She's just like all over me. See this cat? If I stop, She just, like, comes at me. I'm gonna have to make a, an Ellie emote. Oh. Oh, we're going on the desk. We're not allowed on the desk. And cat time is over. She is purring so much. She's never this nice. What a good treat. Dave, she showed up just for you. Just to, uh, um uh congratulate you I, I don't know somehow somehow she's congratulating you what were we doing we were looking up the root pustule so <laughs> yeah <laughs> an ellie emote i will you know what? i have an empty emote slot oh my god don't eat my plants all right i'm gonna check her food <laughs> i'll be right back <laughs>
Her entire food bowl is filled to the brim. Like, just totally full. I don't know what's up with this cat. But she's definitely gonna bite me later tonight. Definitely. Like, there's there's no, like... It's, it's always a balance. Like, if she's super nice, I'm gonna get bit later. It's just... It's her way. There's cat fur on everything now. Okay. Uh, Alright. Root pustule. Pulling it up on my phone. Root pustule is found in kelp caves. Where... What are the... Kelp cave... Oh, okay. Arctic kelp cave. I understand in theory where these are. I think they're back towards the base, actually. So that's cool. And I just, like, totally didn't see them, or, like, I didn't know that the thing that I needed I could just pick up, maybe? Uh, alright. Let's get out. I turned my volume up on my headphones while I was, uh, listening to all that voice acting. See, the AC is fixed. How does that feel? It feels great. It's so nice. Um, it's, yeah. Yesterday it was like 90 degrees. Um, and it was just difficult. It was just really hot. And, like, it's barely even summer yet. Like, I think it's still technically spring. Let me out. Alright, do you guys ever get claustrophobic in games? Because games like this definitely make me feel claustrophobic from time to time. Uh, oh, we're going back this way. Yes. Yeah. But Ali, um, how are you doing? I didn't ask how you are. You came in in the middle of the cat madness. Happy Monday. We've definitely already been through this. A little bit depends on the game. I'll get claustrophobic in, like, Skyrim, actually, a lot. Um, there were a couple points in Skyrim where I had to stop playing and step away and come back to it later because, this, like, the, specifically the dungeons, if I got to a point where I wasn't sure how to progress and I couldn't figure out how to get out without just trailing backwards the whole way, I would get super claustrophobic. Monday's down, so that's behind us. Yup. My workday was pretty good, actually. Um, we have a bunch of new people coming in that we're training, and they're based in another region, and it's always kind of hit or miss on... Um, like, how how much English they're going to know, or um, how much they know about the games that we, we support, because I work at a, at a game studio. And the, the people that came on, they were, like, super knowledgeable about what we were doing, and, and they were asking great questions, and it's just going to make our jobs so much easier going forward. So that's really nice. 
I am actually going to switch my AC to fan because it's making my throat cough, make, making my throat dry, which is making me want to cough. Huh. Those dungeons are kind of weird. Yeah, they, they definitely can be. <clears throat> Always great when you find employees with great potential. Hell yeah. No, it's it's so nice. No, I don't want storage. I just want to get into the prawn suit. Wait, I didn't actually need to come here. I wanted to come to this area, but I didn't need to go in there specifically. Um, <clears throat> I want to go back over to... Here's the kelp. So I think around here there's supposed to be some caves is the impression that I'm under. I'll, I don't think that's it. I'll check. I mean, it's a cave. Yeah, we're too shallow. Let's see. Let's just keep following this around a little bit. And if we don't have luck too soon, then I'll check that wiki again. Uh. Oh, here's some more kelp. Here's some deeper kelp. This looks right. Here we go. Oh, thank you. I don't know how many I need. Oh, I only need uh, two. Weird. I can't believe I never, like, came to any of these caves or like just didn't notice them I kind of want to look around now that I'm here this game is so colorful it really is uh, I was saying earlier that if anything, this game is stunning. Well, I guess I should start making my way out. I'm gonna get lost. Oh, what have I done?
Yeah, I think I... <clears throat> it's weird how much my mood... I guess it's not weird. But, um... I'm realizing how silly it is how much my mood affects how I feel about a game. Because if you asked me, like, two days ago how I felt about this game, I probably would have said it's, like, not great while I was, like, really sick and I was, like, frustrated with it and stuff. And now I'm just like, this game, this game's awesome. This is such a, such a good game. I don't even for a minute regret spending a bunch of time on it. You're kind of like that too, Dave. I feel like realistically that's most people. Just like, people don't think straight when they're not feeling well. So, I think we have everything in here that we need. But let's pin everything and make sure. Uh, I need three of these. I need one of the plasteel inga ingots. And then I need the two battery. Sweet. Oh, wait. Sweet. Love to see it. All right. I hope we don't need multiples of these. <laughs> Where's our lady entrance? Here we go. You use games to affect your mood. I think that I am just like... <coughs> um... Huh. Okay. I think that when when my emotions run high, they really overwhelm everything else that's going on. Um, like, I think that my, my bad attitude will sour anything. Um, and in the same way, my good mood will bring everything up that, that I'm feeling. Um, and that's probably just something that I need to work on. The more often that happens, the more I dislike its little, like, butthole throat. You know what I'm talking about. Don't pretend you didn't notice it. And then there's the Leviathan. Oh, wait, what? Oh, man. I thought that I had repaired it. I was wrong. Not the butthole throat. I learned today, apparently there's a rating on YouTube. Um for their videos where if you say fuck during the first 30 seconds of the video it bumps up the rating because like the majority of users only watch the first 30 seconds of any YouTube video apparently which is shocking to me okay we're going we're going to the Red City. Hey, Loof. That's why you enjoy ch TikTok? Because of the short format? That makes sense. I guess YouTube videos are more likely to skip around in the video than to watch the first 30 seconds and then stop watching. What's going on? Um... We are, I think, approaching the end, near the end of the game. Not like, I don't know. We could be 
very close to the end of the game, or there could be another 20 hours. I have no idea at this point. But we're gonna do one of the next big story beats. Um, but yeah, so we got that, that one, that one fish that keeps grabbing us. And then this guy, like, it's little, like, grabby things. You can't tell me that doesn't look dirty. Yeah, yeah, Allie. Yeah. Teeth. <laughs> it's like that movie, Teeth. Which I haven't actually seen, but I know about it. It's bad. Yeah, I like, I don't... Oh, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Um, yeah, no, I had a, um, I had a party. Oh, no, this is the wrong crystal entry. This is the wrong beacon. I want to go to this one. Okay. Shit. I have to repair it before I go over there. Um... So, yeah, the, um, a, a, a one or two, two minute trigger warning for anybody in chat, but, um, starting now, and when I do this gesture again, I will, I'll be done. So the premise of the movie, the premise of the movie is a, um, it, it's like a girl was gonna be raped, and so then she, like, she either turned into a shrike and, like, cut off the dude's dick and then, like, made it her mission to try to, like, cut off all the dude's dicks. Something like that. Or, like, it, it was something like that. It was some sort of, like, rape premise uh, where, where they turned it into, like, a, a justice kind of thing. Stop it! Oh my god. End. End of the trigger warning for anyone who wants to unmute if, if you needed to. You didn't miss anything. Don't watch the movie. It's terrible. It's weird that you just see the little mouth, the glowy mouth, before the rest of the thing, uh, spawns in. Oh, I actually have to get out and heal my ship again. Okay. I will say, I think this next area that we're coming up to with this beacon, I think it's my favorite area in the whole game. I think it's just like the most beautiful area. Maybe it's because of how much of a contrast there is. Grabbing another whiskey? Enjoy, Dave. I started making myself some more, uh, like, little mixed drinks lately, and it was, it was very nice. See, this area is just so cool. Like, look at how cool this is. Like, I definitely feel like there's an area in the game for every color. Like, there's the blue crystals, there's these red crystals, there's the green kelp, there's the 
There's a yellow kelpy area. There's the barren. I don't know. Other colors. All the primary colors. Also, I am so glad that I put these beacons down. Holy shit. It would have taken me like 10 or 15 minutes to find this again. Please don't. Please don't grab me. I'll turn my light off. Does that help you not notice me? All right, all right, all right. Cool, 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 cool. Ah, okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We did it, we did it, we did it. We made it. Woo! Let's drink some reclaimed water. I dislike, all right, I dislike that because the reclaimed water has, like, the lowest amount of water per container, I always have to use that first. When, like, in real life, if you've got the option between reclaimed pee water and not pee water, you, you want to leave, leave the pee water as the last resort, right? But instead, we're going for- we're saving the more valuable higher amount of water. <laughs> Man, suspension of disbelief is ruined. No, I'm, I'm I'm joking. It's just weird. It's just weird. That wasn't in the first game. <laughs> so, Alan, you said your people came here in search of a cure. I was a researcher. You were a scientist, like me. My people regarded my scientific contributions with particular interest. As I said, like me. If that is your interpretation. So, how did your valuable scientific mind wind up infected? Not my mind, my body. Perhaps you should build the next component. This guy doesn't like to talk. It makes me nervous. So you came here to search for a cure? I left the mission. Does that mean the bacteria got out on your watch? This subject is uncomfortable. If you would like to know more, I will ask that you first construct the final component. This... I don't trust this alien guy. It's a cool looking torso, though. This is the last piece. Soon I will be autonomous again. What will you do with your newfound freedom? I must return home to make amends. Amends? For the bacteria? There seems to be a lot you're not telling me. It is hard for me to find the words. I must collect my thoughts. Oh. All the necessary components. You may initiate body fabrication sequence from the tunnel. You still owe me an explanation. I understand. Okay. You'd love a drink. Summer is three weeks away, but time has slowed to a slug pace. You're almost there. It's gonna... Suddenly it's gonna be there. You'll blink, and it'll be three weeks from now. Um... But can you not also drink? That might make it go by even faster, actually. It's 98 degrees in school right now? Holy shit. You can't put in, like, a window AC? Like, I got a window AC right here. Yeah, none of you guys use AC. Uh, I was gonna say something else. But now I don't remember. It'll come back to me. If it's important, it'll come back. Not at school. Oh, yes, I do remember. So, tomorrow, um, it's supposed to be, like, almost 100 degrees here. And they're closing the schools early because of the masks. They, like, don't want kids in school without AC. Also wearing masks. The escape of the bacteria was an accident. I thought my solution was foolproof. I was wrong. Did you cause the accident? Yes. Whoa. 
I do not wish to speak about it. We can come back to this. Alan, why? Why did you cause the accident? Whoa. What are you doing? Research. Tit for tat. You've probed my mind. I scan your body. We're gonna initiate the transfer, you guys? Oh my god, it's so cool! Hey, Nob. Yeah, the I, that's crazy to me, Loof, that the schools don't have AC. I mean, I never went to a school that had AC, so it's not surprising, but it, it is unpleasant. Like, I feel like some effort should be made when all of you guys have to also wear masks. That's that's a lot. This is cool, though. I didn't realize it had four legs. Is this a centaur man? I can't go around him. I'm trying to, like, go behind him. Check him out. Initiate transfer. Here we go. Commencing to transfer. Did it work? Are we... Whoa. It has been some time since I last stretched out in so many dimensions. Like waking from a dream. Uh. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> You're really not in my head anymore? There are some remnants. Would you like your memories of me removed as well? Are you kidding? No way. You still owe me the end of your story. I told you I must return home. To assess. Repair. Make amends. Tell me more. When the bacteria escaped, it was my fault. I disobeyed the directive from my network. Oh, no. Oh. We noticed that a species of Leviathan young produced an enzyme that is efficient against the bacteria. I thought if we incubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. I was not wrong. But... It would appear that sea dragon parents are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated to handle. And the bacteria got out, infecting everything. How many survived the outbreak back home? Are they still waiting for someone to bring back a cure? I do not know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld this information does not concern you. It was certainly manipulative. And I've also made my own share of mistakes. I'm still committed to helping. I accept your help. Find me at the gate when you are ready. In the meantime, I must prepare. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Cool. I'm glad that wasn't just like the end of the game. Let me pause and, and catch up on chat. N uh, Nob, hello again. Welcome in. How are you doing? Uh, there are parents attacking the local news for tweeting out that kids should probably not have to sit in 98 degree classrooms with no AC and masks on. Really? Man, people will attack, like, people for any reason. Like, just looking out for children's health and safety and, like, not to mention the teachers? And they get attacked for it? Some bullshit. Even the poor schools here have AC just because you can't, um, can't imagine without. Is this looking like, uh, Warfame? Yeah, it's it's getting weird up in here. A real important story shit. Kids are so soft these days. The narrative is ridiculous. They just want free healthcare. What the fuck? That's so bullshit. I have to blow my nose again. Hold on.
thing the most the most annoying part about having to blow my nose constantly is that I constantly have to fix my nose ring. Like it's just always going to be sideways and can't do too much. Um the same parents who say these kids are um kids are so soft these days are the ones who drop an iPad into their kids' hands and let them stay on their phones until 2 a.m. That sounds about right. We only, uh, we know people only care about kids when it furthers their own beliefs. Yep. Base, I will join you in the gate base when everything is ready. But for now, I have much to prepare. Look at his tail. His little bug legs. What a cool looking critter. I'm gonna get myself stuck in the geometry. I just want to look around and make sure I don't miss anything before I leave. Yeah, like, I, uh... If, if I had to, like, pick another type of creature that's, like, not monkey-based, this guy's pretty sweet. I would not be disappointed if if my if my next life was this guy It'd be really cool you're so sad you never pulled the geometry emote together there's still time so here's the question Is this place, like, in here? Ooh. It's really far away with the 2000, so probably not. I probably just want to go out. In fact, I... Uh, 17,000. That's almost as far back as my, uh... Oh, there's another one. Calorie intake recommended. Oh, am I starving to death? My bad. I'll read chat as soon as I get out of here. I'm a tree hoke. Your kids? I don't actually get that one. I should actually get out and repair. I didn't- oh wait, no, that's not my- that's my power. Oh, I get it. Geometry. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I haven't heard that one, though. I'm sure there's another way out of here that's a lot faster, but I actually just trust my beacons more than my exploration ability. You're not a corny math teacher at all, one of your points of pride. 
That's actually surprising to me. I, I thought you'd be all about those corny jokes. I had a very cool geometry teacher in high school, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, he was very serious, too, actually. Um, um, man, I don't want to- I don't want to say his name. I don't want to, like, say his name on stream, but he had, um, he had, like, a cool name that was also pretty easy to, like, give fun nicknames to. And he hated it. If you ever called him by a nickname, you'd get detention. Like, immediately. He'd be like, I'll see you after class. Um, yeah, don't dox the man. Um. Um. <clears throat> But it was funny, because he was, like, so approachable and, and, like, such a nice dude that it was very easy to be, like, you know, just, like, approach him with, like, a funny nickname or whatever. And then he just didn't stand it. I think that a lot of people would play up the names just because they knew they would get detention. And that was just, you know, entertaining. That surprised me. Fuck. Ugh. Getting out of this place is a pain in the butt. It is a huge pain. How do I get out of here? I want to leave. Let me leave. Did you all have our, ever have a good, uh, good looking teacher that people fawned over? Uh, yes. There was one teacher in particular in high school that, like, I remember I went to my hairdresser in my hometown, and the hairdresser, who was, like, you know, graduated, she was a good ten years older than me, something like that, and she was like, oh my god, is that teacher still there? He was so hot. I always looked forward to his class, you know? And I was like, no, I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was so weird. It was just, it was, I was like getting my hair cut. It was like, what the hell? Oh my god. I will get out of here. There it is. We found it. Yes! Sunlight! Oh, we did it. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, um, did you use it? Student teacher and lordy! I remember in college I had a couple of professors that I was- that I- was like, yeah, I'll do the other, the other class that you also teach, sure. All the grade eight boyos wanted to give her a hug on her last day. Of course they did. That's funny. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think I was ever personally, like, super into the, like, student-teacher dynamic kind of thing. That never, like, totally clicked with me. I know it's huge for a lot of people.
I guess I've got my own my own subcategories on Pornhub that I visit more frequently. <laughs> This is why I have to click the not for children on my YouTube uploads. Uh, so, um the weather, it's been really warm. Um, I got a question of the day. I don't remember what that is. Um, how's, how's everybody else doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. This was like a... A relatively... Uh, is this where I'm supposed to go? Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, I remember this area. I didn't realize that this is the, uh, this is the gate that the guy meant. Alright, so, a little bit of game design here that I really, really, really like is that we did this whole area, right, with the deep sea, with, with the fabrication and all that. We're given a new beacon to go to, and if we just go out and go straight to it, we end up where we need to be. We don't have to go around the island. We don't have to go down into a cave and then go back up. Like, it was very straightforward. And that was very nice game design because it's not frustrating. Um, it didn't It didn't make me second guess anything. I just went straight there. And after all of the exploration that this game has forced on us, that was nice. It was a nice break. Uh, Resident Evil 8 already came out. Uh, Forbidden West comes out this year. Yeah, I am really excited for Forbidden West. Absolutely. Yeah, Forb Forbidden West and this game were actually, like, my most anticipated games personally that I can think of right now. I'm trying to think of other games that are being talked about. And not a whole lot is coming to mind. Like, what other stuff has been announced? Ratchet and Clank. Anything on the PS5, really. God of War! Oh, didn't that get- that got pushed back to 2022. Yeah. Like, I'm glad that they're gonna take as much time as they need and not rushing it, but also sad. How'd he get here so fast, this guy? These people can just teleport wherever. Also, like, what's up with these stones? They're so cool. I definitely scanned them at one point and was like, oh, neat. Are you preparing to leave, Alan? Yes. There is much to do. This is so cool. New life is strange. Yes, true colors. I that that's probably my most anticipated game actually. I just forgot about it. Do you still wish to leave with me? Yes. Beyond this teleport, there is no turning back. Sweet. Are you kidding? I can't pass up a chance to see where architects come from. Besides, I don't have another ride. I do not know what we will find there. The others may be sick, or angry, if they live at all. Or, you could find peace. Family. I hope you are right. Please complete any business you still have on this planet. Join me on the other side when you are ready to leave. This is feeling so endgame. This is point of no return. They told me in advance. Do we have any unfinished business? We didn't- we didn't make our house into a home. We just built a base. We put a bed in it, but we didn't put shelves or trinkets. I guess I'll save.
I hope there's food there. We didn't make a wall planter. Or an aromatherapy lamp. Or an executive toy. We had- we have so many blueprints. We could have made an alien containment- I don't really want to do any of that. I think we should just go. Does anybody want to watch me build a base for an hour and a half? Can always reload. This is cool though. Look at this shit. You can always go back, yeah. Look at this shit. I want to go through this portal. We're doing it. <clears throat> Alan, what's going on? Robin, you're just in time. The phase gate is opening. You've been hiding a phase gate here this whole time. Only for the last millennium. It will lead us home. No wonder you hid yourself from Altera. It was imperative to keep the home world safe. In hopes that the others survived. Yeah. Yo, this is so sick! <laughs> Horstopus. Will you help me prepare the ship? The energy masks must be moved into place. Well, this is different. I like our horse octopus friend. I don't know what I'm doing with my new arms, though. I can't like I can't like smack his butt. Sir, where do you where would you like me to go? Horse topus. <laughs> you dislike that so much, Allie. He is amazing. This is this is cool as hell. Did he tell me what to do and I like just wasn't listening at all? Tell me why you were thinking that I should smack his butt. Ah, ah, I can't. It won't let me get close enough. Fuck. Sir? I need you to repeat your previous uh, command because I can't open the chat log and I can't click on that. What if I go back up here? Oh wow, it really doesn't let you go back. Game failure, two out of five for no butt smacks. Yeah, no kidding. All right, what happens if I go down here? Yeah, it's like 2 out of 10 can't pet the dog, right? Except with butts. Whoa! I can jump higher. Am I supposed to go down there? I mean, I'll do it. Oh, it won't let me. All right, great. Thank you. Wait, what? Oh, align the pillars. Okay, all right. I was listening. Oh, no. 
There we go. <laughs> this guy is like amateur. Never used quantum phase technology before. Lady, don't don't die. Very good. Return to me, and I will initiate ship assembly. All right, all right. Return arms. Hold on, I have to blow my nose again. I'm sorry, you guys. Being sick is the worst. Actually, you know what? Being sick is not the worst, and I'll tell you why. It gives you the valid excuse to be miserable and, like, no one can be like, oh, come on, just get it together. You can just be sad and not feel guilty about it, right? You can, like, you can be sad, you can, you know, just um, be a Debbie Downer because you're sick. Because you're sick. There are upsides. Similar upside, similar type of thing, getting dumped. You get entitlement when you get dumped. You can you can just be that person. And be like, oh, your day was shitty? I got dumped today, you know? Same vibes. Same vibes as being sick. Thank you. The masks are in place. The energy field is ready. There is no time to lose. <laughs> Can't get dumped if you don't date. I mean, that is also true. <gasps> what? Take me with you. Join me! You guys, is this our bay? Is this our, our like... Oh god. I apologize. The levitator was calibrated for heavier bodies. That was <laughs> so aggressive. I'm to your feet, but as you can see, I have been fully integrated with the ship. Is this permanent? Nothing is permanent. Are you ready to go? Yeah. You could say that. Ready to leave the past behind. Good. Please brace yourself, and then we will depart. Yo. Brace myself. Launching in three, two, one. This is so cool. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Y'all, I should have gotten zooted for this. What was I thinking? What will we find when we get there? If I am the last of my kind, I will experience the sorrow of ten thousand souls dimming. That's so sad. That's so much sorrow.
What? We don't know if they're alive? I want to know if they're alive. What? What do you mean? What do you mean we just get dropped off right there? We can't, like, even exit the ship and, like, know? And be greeted or, or what? What the hell? That was so much build up. And then they're just like, the ending is what you make it. I was so built up. I was just like, I was so hyped about that. And then they, then they rolled the credits there. Uh, I just, I like when a story has a concise end. I don't like an open-ended ending. It's to me, it just feels a little inconclusive. So I, I really wish that they had wrapped that up a bit more. All in all, very cool game. Very, very good game. There are a lot of things that I like better than the first Subnautica, and there's a handful of things that I didn't like as much. I think you're gonna find that with any game that has like a strong sequel um, like this. Like, this was very much a sequel, you know? I totally missed what happened to the sister. I'm sure it was said at some point and I just like didn't really pick it up or I just didn't pay too much attention to it because um, it was just all in, in text. Um, the nature of sequels, yeah. It was an excellent game. It's a little loud. I'm gonna turn it down just a smidgen while I'm chatting. How's that? Is that all right? Let me know if, if that's good. Um, I feel like Subnautica filled a void in in the genre, and that the sequel is just more of that. So it's less exciting, but lots of cool stuff to see and experience for the first time. I agree wholeheartedly. Um, yes, Subnautica, because Subnautica was so new, every sense of discovery that you found playing the first game was you know, mind-blowing. Like, it was fantastic. Every aspect of it was huge. Every time you found a new alien base, you were like, oh my god, uh, what's going on here? Like, tell me more. In this game, you already have that base enough knowledge that when you find something, you're like, oh, neat, how does this fit into what I already have learned? Um, so you're right, that nothing is going to feel as substantial. Um, I think the environments in this game were fantastic. Um, the world was smaller. Like, the overall map was much, much smaller. Um, it, I think, I'm trying to remember. No, yeah, the whole map was just much smaller. Um, it took away some of that kind of aimless wandering, maybe, that the first game had while you're trying to, like, go and find Rex. So it took away some, some of that aimless wandering just trying to find components and things that you need. But it also... I... Hmm. It was a... I don't know. I don't know. Um, I preferred the larger world, I think. In this game, you had... Here we go. Here we go. All right. I figured it out. I figured it out. In the first game, you had to explore enough to find the bare minimum of what you needed to progress. In this game, you need to find every single thing in order to progress. Um, so if you miss an area, you likely can't move on until you go and figure out what you missed. Um, and that that feels a little 
harsh. That's a little bit more harsh on the gameplay than, like, if you explore enough in the first game, you'll eventually find all the things that you need. Um, but because there's such a surplus, you're bound to do that without stretching yourself too thin and getting frustrated. Um, does that make sense? Um, the music was great. I mean, I'm, I've always been a huge fan of this composer. I don't remember what their, I don't remember their name, but, um, I always loved the first soundtrack and, uh, FTL. I love the soundtrack for that as well, which is funny because I've never played the game, but they have the same composer. And so I, I started listening to the, uh, the soundtrack for that, like, when I'm playing board games and stuff, it's just, like, I really enjoy it. It had penguins, though, so 10 out of 10 in your heart. I mean, the penguins are adorable. I love my after-game talks. Good stuff. I'm glad. I'm glad. I, um, I really like critiquing games. Um, I, I think sometimes I can be a little bit harsh, but I also like to be critical of media. Um, I think that when we're critical about, about media and games, um, it's not, it can be negative, but it's not always negative. And it's definitely from me, not intended to be negative. It's more showing areas that the genre can, Im or, or that the gaming industry can improve as a whole, I think. I don't know. I just... It's something I enjoy. Not all criticism is negative, yeah. I'm trying to think of other things that really stood out when I played. Um... I liked the base building in this game more so than the first one. In this game, it was def they definitely cleaned up some of the bugs. They cleaned up a lot of bugs from the first game. The first game has is very buggy compared to this one. Um, but this one, you really, you really got to build out your base as much as you wanted to. Like, but I also didn't need as many components in general. Like, I remember the first game, I had like I had my main room and then i had like two other rooms and one of them had the water filtration machine and one of them had a power machine and the other one had like just walls and walls and walls of storage right um maybe i should i should i should throw on my my just chatting here we go i never use my full cam unless it's like a cat related reason oh i've also just had my drawer open the whole stream whatever um but in this game we were very easily able to have all of the uh, the all of the uh, materials that we needed in one room uh i think even some of the recipes were condensed a lot so the titanium ingots you only needed five, and I'm pretty sure in the first game you needed ten. Um, so that... <clears throat> that made everything feel a lot more efficient. And <clears throat> uh, I... <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, I didn't have to spend nearly as much time like just doing base management am i good <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm fine totally fine this is the most i've talked in like a week um overall great game great great game i think there were only two points that i got like really frustrated with it and uh, um i think that more had to do with me than the game um, like, there was one point that I just kind of got lost, and there was another point that I just, like, didn't have a very clear objective, and then the next time I booted up the game, I very quickly got a new objective, so, like, wasn't even a big deal. Um, 
that um that saying that Mark brings up a lot, the lost with direction, I think definitely comes up in this game where there there was definitely a sense of feeling lost without direction in this game a couple of times. Um, and given enough time, I would get a new prompt and I would get a new thing to go do. So it always resolved itself pretty well. Oh, Paladin! Oh my gosh, Paladin uh, with the raid. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Um, Allie or, or Dave, could I get a shout out for Paladin, please? Thank you. Oh, we're just wrapping up here. We just finished Subnautica Below Zero. Um, double shout out. Why not? Um, oh, no, it's, no, it's totally okay. No worries. How was the rest of your stream? Leah, hello. And Seb, hi. How are you guys doing? Oh, what a cool game. I really, I think, all in all, having all my thoughts wrapped up here, I really enjoy this game. I definitely recommend it. I, um, maybe I should start doing, like, a rating system when I, when I finish a game to the end. That might be kind of fun if I keep, like, a little spreadsheet of games I finished on stream and then do, like, a 1 to 10 scale of how I feel about them. I don't know. That might be fun. Um, just because I like doing that kind of stuff. Um, I remember I, I do a meal kit sometimes. Well, I just canceled it, actually. But I do, um, uh, ratings. All right, now we have to. Now we don't have a choice. We've got to do it. We're gonna do it. Um, but, uh, I do a meal kit. Um, HelloFresh. I did that for a couple of, a couple of weeks, couple maybe a couple months, and I just canceled it. But, um, when I was trying out a couple of different ones, I did, like, the free trial of, like, three or four different kits. And I rated each meal, and then I rated, like, the service, and then I rated the, like, environmental impact of each kit, and compared them all to one another, and built out a big PDF spreadsheet comparing them all. Um, and it, I, just, I don't know, I just had a lot of fun doing it. Like, I didn't even really post it anywhere. I think I threw it on Discord at one point, but, uh... I think that stuff is fun. I'm like, I have opinions and I think they're important. <laughs> that's 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 what it comes down to. It's like, I have feelings and they should be shared. Ugh. I want to keep streaming. But we finished the game. So now, now what are we going to do? I guess I can raid somebody. Getting over it. Hold up. Hold on. I have it. I don't know if it's installed. My frames are gonna go way down just while it while it's downloading. Hold on. 